Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm here with the next in my series of must have city application videos. I know I've been a little while, but uh, there's a new one. Actually, this one is fairly new, it's probably maybe two or three weeks old, but uh, it's a pretty cool one. It's called Boss Paper. Basically, what this allows you to do is set a wallpaper or a series of wallpapers to show up on your home screen, and they will continuously change and everything. However, you set them. Very cool, um, definitely a pretty cool application. I recommend most of you guys, you know, at least check it out. So, yeah, let's get this one started. Okay, so Boss Paper, I'm cutting out. All you have to do is just search for it. It's in the Big Boss repo. Just you know, search for Boss Paper. It's pretty simple. So basically, once you open it, it's Boss Paper enabled everything. Now you can download specific image packs for Boss Paper. Um, you know, they'll be like fantasy. Um, Wilderness, um, you know, just different ones, and you can make your own. So let's just go ahead and open it up here, and that's just the ones that I have. So, yeah, and you can do individual pictures. I don't actually have any on here, so now you can go into dock images. Now, this is pretty cool. Now, I will say that usually you will probably want it's kind of customizable, you don't have to. Um, some themes will kind of look a little odd with this because it destroys the background of it. Um, if you want. If you, if it looks a little odd, you might want to just disable your theme. Um, it's working okay for me, so I'm not going to. Um, I'm using the Illumine or Illumine, or I don't know how you say it theme right now, so it's okay. But uh, so sometimes you might want to disable the theme, and then you can change docs and stuff. It's all about customization, really. And then there's oops, and then there's color select, which is just if you want like red, then change to green, etc., etc. Now there's transitions. This is definitely a very cool thing. So let's say now this is a transition. So I'm just going to click the little thing. So kind of funny, but and you can do the different things like you can just test them and see like this is and basically if those were your things on your uh, on your uh, <laughs> sorry guys, like that was uh, pictures that are going across your boss paper. Then you know that's what you're going to see. So you know you can definitely just experiment with that. I'm not going to mess with it. Um, and then there's a lot of different things like you can change like how fast to change it, uh, how fast like if you want it to go every like 30 seconds or every 10 or whatever. It just kind of depends. I've got mine cranked up a little bit. And then there's just lots of different things. But basically that's it. Um, yeah. So once you're done, just hit home button. And here we go. So you see here, I have just one of the generic ones. But now if you watch for just a, a few seconds, you'll see. There we go. It changes. Definitely a very cool thing. Um, of course, it's not for everybody. Um, you know, and you see, you can add your own pictures and do all that kind of stuff. Um, I like it just because it really doesn't seem to be that much of a resource drain. Um, I mean, I really can't notice that big of a difference. And I mean, you still scroll through fine and everything. Um, it's definitely a really cool application. I recommend guys check it out. Boss Paper, um, totally free. Uh, get it in the Big Boss repo. Test it out. There's a lot of different things you can, you know, edit and uh, mess around with the options and just kind of figure it out. Not to mention you can download packs and even add your own pictures. Anyway, guys, that's just about it. Just a real quick video showing you this pretty cool application.